Hello everyone, welcome to your four, three, two, one workout. So it's gonna be four segments. They're about maybe nine or 10 minutes each. Uh, we'll do four minutes of core or obliques, one minute of a cardio move, all right? Three minutes of strength, and then one minute of cardio. Okay, so that's the breakdown for each of the four sections. So what you will need, you'll kind of need it all today. You'll need a mat possibly, heavy dumbbells, light dumbbells, medium dumbbells. You can always combine them, you know, to get what you need. You will also need paper plates or sliders, okay? There's gonna be a little time where we have to transition the space a bit. All right, so this is your 40 minute workout. If you only have time for 10 or 20, then of course break it up however you need to, or 30, great, all right? My mom's gonna be demoing for me today. I am not doing the workout. I went spinning earlier today. So let's get started with our four minutes of core, first section. So we're gonna start in just a nice uh, way to warm up. At the back of your mat, you're just gonna do inchworms. So you're just gonna reach your hands over your head, and then inchworm all the way out into a plank and then push up. Mm-hmm. Good, yes. And then walk back. You get a nice stretch in the backs of the legs, yeah? And then reach your hands over your head. And then walk it down, inchworm. Mm-hmm. And then push it up, exactly. And then walk those hands back and reach your hands over your head. Beautiful. Yep, good. And if you need to skip the push-up, skip the push-up. This is just our little like core warm up move, okay? Nothing crazy yet. Good. We got another 60 seconds to go here. Mm hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Walk it out into a plank, push up, and then walk it back. Stretch the arms over your head. Let's go. 45 seconds. Then we're going to be in a plank position. And all we're going to do is kind of come into a down dog pike and you'll tap your opposite hand to your opposite foot. Again, it's sort of a stretch and a core move at the same time, all right? We're there in 20 seconds. You'll be in a high plank position. We pike the hips, opposite hand to the outside of the opposite foot. If your hands are always sweaty like mine, you might even need a hand towel, all right? We're there in eight. Beautiful, in seven guys. Plank positions in six. Five, four, three, two, plank position. Now pipe the hips up and take opposite hand to opposite foot, just like this. And then come forward into your plank. Pipe the hips up, opposite hand, opposite foot, come all the way into your high plank. Very nice. Opposite hand, opposite foot, and then come into your plank, yes. Opposite hand, opposite foot, Come forward into that plank. That's it, everybody. Mm-hmm. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Good, good. You got it, you got it. 30 seconds. Then we're just gonna hold a little bear plank. So you'll be on all fours. Your knees will be underneath of your hips. And we're just gonna lift the knees up off the mat or the floor just a couple inches. So you'll be in the tabletop position, okay? We're there in 10. Good, in eight. And mom, I'm gonna have you turn the mat to the other side so they can see you from the side once we're there. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. In five, four, three, two, and one. So, bare plank. So, your knees are gonna be directly underneath of your hips. You'll be in a tabletop position, okay? And you're gonna curl your toes under and then you're just gonna hover your knees up off the, off the carriage, not the carriage, the mat. Ready, three, two, let's go. Hover the knees up off. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, that's it. Really engaging the abs, getting everything nice and warm right here. Again, the knees, you can't, it looks like her knees are on the floor, right? But they aren't, they're just hovering up a little bit. Pull the belly button up and in. In 10 seconds, you're gonna set the knees down for just a second. Then we're gonna come right back up to this bare plank and we're just gonna tap opposite hand to opposite shoulder without letting the hips move. In three, two, tap down for a second. Take a second, take a second, take a second. And then hover right back up, Hillis, and now tap opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Yes, try to keep those hips still as if they're in concrete, like someone's holding onto your hips. Mm -hmm. And you can see her knees are still hovered. Yes, take a second whenever you need to, guys. 10, 
seconds, everybody. Then elbows are gonna come down and we're gonna make little circles with the hips while we're in that elbow plank. We're there in four. Legs extend out, elbows down. Three, two, legs extend out, elbows down. You're gonna make little circles, like you're doing a little dance, okay? Make circles too, right? Little circles, not ovals. Circles, guys, circle. You can do this on your knees as well. In five, you're gonna go the other way with those little circles. In four, then we got our cardio. In three, two, other way with those circles. Let's go. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go to a hop shuffle back. I like to use the mat as a guide. I want you to be at the back of your mat we're there in three, stand up, feet wide, two, and one. Stand up, feet are gonna be just like this, the back end of your mat. Good, and you're just gonna hop forward, big hop towards me, mom, and now shuffle back. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Hop up, squat land, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Exactly, hop up, squat land, and then shuffle, 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 shuffle. Mm-hmm. So when you land in that squat, get soft and then shuffle back. Again, you can use your mat from end to end as a guide for how far you're gonna actually hop, right? Go for it, go for it, yes. We're in these cardio moves for another 30 seconds here, okay? You will see this hop shuffle again in this round. You will see this, okay? Keep going, keep going, land soft. Don't worry, no burpees today. Nobody wants to do burpees for a minute. Keep going, keep going, mm-hmm. Beautiful. You can always modify by walking up if you need to. Last eight. Good. Then we're going to go into a little strength. And we're going to go to a wall sit. I need you to have your light to medium dumbbells because while your back is up against a wall, you're going to do a hammer curl. In three, two, grab those light, medium, maybe even heavy pound dumbbells, okay? And you're going to be back up against the wall. And we're going to go into a wall sit with a hammer curl. Now, because of the way our house is, you can't really see my mom, but she's gonna be right over there. She's up against the wall, and she's just gonna sit in a wall squat. Okay, we're gonna be here for a bit. Just hold your wall squat and do a little hammer curl. So thumbs up, palms in, you sit right up against that wall, back is flat up against, and you're just doing a hammer curl with your thumbs up and your palms in. We're gonna be here for a bit in this wall squat. So your quads are definitely gonna feel the burn, okay? Keep going. Beautiful. Nice, hill it's 30 seconds. Then the arms are gonna go straight, okay? She's gonna keep both of her feet grounded on the floor. She's still gonna be in a wall squat and she's just gonna open and close her knees like this, okay? Get ready for that. In 15. Good, good. In 10, holding the wall squat, we're just going to open and close the knees. We're there in five, four, three, two. Hold your wall squat. Hold the arms. Now open and close the knees. Good. Do you feel your quads? Yes. Open and close. Open and close. That's it. Open and close. Good, good, everybody. We're in this wall squat for a bit, so try to stay strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. In eight, seven, six, five. Now palms up, bicep curl. Three, two, hold the legs still. Now palms up, normal bicep curl. So before you were doing thumbs up, palms in, now you're doing palms up, bicep curl. You're about halfway through this wall squat. Good, everybody. Getting the quads fired up. Nice. All the way up, all the way down. Again, sorry you can't see her. Just the way our house is, you gotta find a flat wall to be against, right? In three, we're gonna go back to the knees out, knees in, keep the feet grounded. Two, freeze the arms, now knees out, knees in. Knees out, knees in. Good, quads should be burning, guys. You are holding that squat. Yep. Yep, good. 15 seconds and you're gonna go back to just the bicep curl, but this time palms are gonna be down bicep curl. So we did a hammer curl, we did a normal bicep curl, now we're going palms down bicep curl. In three, two palms down the floor, bicep curl. Try to keep the elbows pinned in, mom. Yes, there we go. We're gonna go back to that hop, shuffle back, 
one more time and then you'll be done with this first round out of four guys get ready we're there in 15 seconds you drop your weights we go back to the jump shuffle back jump shuffle back we're there in five good good in four three two quads burning so let's get back to it use your mat as a guide right jump up land soft in that squat shuffle 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 back ready go one minute Jump, land soft, shuffle, shuffle. Mm -hmm. Jump, land soft, shuffle, shuffle. Beautiful. Jump, land soft, shuffle, shuffle. Nice, so let's. 45 seconds. We're going to go into our core segment for our second section. For this core segment, you might need a mat for your hands, but you'll definitely need your plates or your sliders, whatever you're using. We're going to go to into some waist or oblique work. We're going to start with a teaser. Okay. Your right foot is gonna cross over your left foot. Two plates or two sliders are needed. Mat at the top of your space for your hands. We're there in 15 seconds. Second section of your workout. Beautiful, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open up your space, mom. So you're gonna put the mat at the top of your space, everybody, for your hands, okay? So hands will be on the mat, right foot's over the left foot with the sliders. Okay, so it's a teaser. So get into a plank first, and then you're gonna put your right foot on the left plate, right foot on the left plate, this one, yep, and the left foot on the right plate, okay? Now pike the hips up. So try to get on the sides of your feet, mom. Toes towards me. Yes, teaser, exactly. So see those feet, guys? Yeah, I know with the plates of the sliders, it's a little weird to get your feet adjusted, but get your feet adjusted. Sides of the feet, shoulders square, we're working that right waist, okay? Just a little pike is all you really need, okay? It's not a chopstick, we're not stacking the feet. Sides of the feet, right foot over left foot. Exhale, pike it. Inhale, extend it. Good. 25 seconds and you're going to be on your left side body like in a sideline position, think of making your body look like a cashew if you were flying over yourself. We're gonna go cashew crunch. We're there in 10. Cashew crunch, you'll be on your left side body. Yes, if you need your mat, grab your mat. In five, I think you'll be okay on the rug, mom. In four, three, two, and one. So you're gonna be in a sideline position just like this, okay? Think of yourself as a cashew. Bottom arm is gonna be out in front of you and you're just gonna crunch, okay? I'm on my left butt, my left hip, all right? And your legs are gonna be pretty straight. You're just gonna crunch. And you might need to kind of like roll over and find that magic spot, right? Your intuition is correct with this cashew crunch. You'll need to be more so on your left butt to work that right waist, okay? Yes, and your knees can be bent if they need to be. But again, you're in a sideline position, and then you kind of roll over onto that left butt. Good. Again, work in the right waist. And that bottom left hand is down for support like this, and you can kind of use it to leverage yourself up a little bit. Okay? But notice I'm not on both butt cheeks like this. I'm just on my left butt, and I'm kind of using that left arm to drive me up into that crunch. Good. 15 seconds, then we're going to go into your other waist, starting with that teaser on the left side. Again, hands on your mat, left foot over right foot, sides of your feet, both plates, both sliders. We're there in five. Good, four, three, two, let's go. Teaser on the left side. So hands on the mat, left foot crosses over the right foot. Sides of the feet, get those plates or sliders ready. Yep, there you go, it was perfect. Now pike the hips up, clock has started. Extend it out, mm-hmm. Just a little pike is all you need, everybody. Good. If you needed to modify this, you could always just hold a side elbow plank on the left side and add a pulse. That is beautiful. Good. 40 seconds, and we're going to be on our right side body. Right hip, right butt cheek. Bottom right arm will be underneath for some leverage. We're going cashew crunch for the left waist. We're there in 20 seconds. Good, nice and slow. Beautiful, 15. Sideline, right side, cashew crunch for the left. Again, you were flying over yourself. 
you'd look like a cashew shape. In four, three, two, let's go. Get those plates out of the way. Right side body, right arm down for leverage, and you're just gonna crunch. Good. And crunch. She's out of the camera a little bit, but that's okay. We'll put her in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you're kind of on that right hip, right butt. Okay, and see how my mom's bottom right arm is sort of helping her crunch up? And you're bringing that left hand to sort of tap your left toes. There you go. 40 seconds, everybody. Then we're in our cardio move. It's a squat jack. All right. Looks like this. You'll kind of squat, arms out, kind of 90 degrees like this. And then hop in and hop out and land in that squat. You'll kind of pause at the bottom of that squat jack. We're there in 15 seconds. Yes, guys. In 10. Squat jack with a pause at the bottom. In eight, crunch up a little higher here. Roll over under that right butt. Six, five, four, three, two. Stand it up. Let's push that mat out of the way a little bit. Yes, and it's a squat jack. So arms out to 90. You sit in your squat, hold, jack at the top. Sit, squat, jack at the top. Sit, squat. Jack at the top. Yes, guys. Really hold the bottom of that squat. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Pause the bottom. Squeeze the glutes. And jack it. There you go. 40 seconds. Then we're going to put our bands over our thighs. We're going to work the right leg. Okay? And then when we go to the strength section of your third section, we'll work the left leg. All right? But you're going to put your band over your thighs, probably your medium to heavy band. And we're going to go right into a side lying position with a straight leg. We're just going to lift and lower that right leg up and down. You'll be in a side lying position, band over the knees. No need for a mat if you're working with a rug, you'll be fine. In four, three, two, let's do right leg. So. I would say medium to heavy band, it's up to you. You're gonna put it around your thighs, right above the knees. Good, you'll be in a sideline position on your left side body for working the right leg. Head in the hand or head on the bicep, bottom knee will be bent underneath of you. You're just gonna lift that top right leg up and down. Option to sickle the foot down towards the floor a little bit. Ready, let's do it. Again, when we go to that third section or your third part of this, we'll work the other leg, okay? So you definitely, if you're splitting this workout, have to do the right and the left leg. So you might need to do just sections two and three, right? If you're just looking for a 20 minute workout. Up and down, up and down. Again, if you feel it more with the foot kind of pointing down, do that. Up and down, good, up and down, that's it. Up, squeeze the butt, lower. Up, squeeze the butt, lower, yes. Beautiful. Bottom knee is bent underneath of you, maybe slightly forward. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Do you feel it? Yep. Good. Keep the band always pretty tight, guys. Ten seconds, you're going to hold the right foot up high enough, keeping the band tight. We're going to make circles about the size of an acorn squash. All right? We're there in three, two, hold it up, circle, the size of an acorn squash. Good, we're just gonna go one direction. Up and over, up and over. Good, outer thigh, side butt. Looks good. 15 seconds, your feet are gonna connect. Heels are gonna stay connected. Bottom knee is gonna bend forward a little bit more underneath of you in front of your belly button. We're going clamshells. We're there in five, clamshell. Four, three, two, one. Scoot back a little bit towards me, mom. Good, bottom knee is bent forward. Your heels are gonna stay connected. Open the top right knee, squeeze through the side of your right leg, close. Open, squeeze, close. Open, squeeze, close. Good, your hips are stacked. Again, you can have your head on your hand, head on your bicep. Just squeeze that right butt cheek. Good, open, squeeze it, and close. Open, squeeze, and close. 30 seconds, and we're gonna separate the feet, okay? You're gonna keep your band tight, you're gonna keep your knees bent like this, and we're just gonna completely separate 
and open and close. So not really a clam. I don't know what you'd call this. Just a variation, okay? In 15, we'll let the feet go separate and we're just gonna open the top knee and close without opening the hip too much. We're there in eight. Then we're gonna go back to that squat jack in six, five, four, three, two. Now open the top knee, squeeze, close. Open the top knee, squeeze, close. So it's like a clamshell, but your feet are not connected. Good, and try to keep those hips from rolling open too much. You got 15 seconds, band comes off. We're going back to that squat jack. Remember with that little pause at the bottom. All right, it's a one minute cardio situation. And then we're going into core. Next time you see strength, we'll be doing that left leg, all right? We're there in three, two, take that band off, heel lift, let's go, squat, jack. Ready? In five, four, three, two, let's go. Squat, jack, squat, jack, nice. Pause at the bottom, yes, everybody. Good, 45 seconds, and you're in your third section of this war or this workout. You're gonna grab one heavy dumbbell, maybe a kettlebell, maybe two weights in one hand, whatever you've got for a heavy situation. We're gonna be on our butts, and we're gonna go rush and twist side to side for the waist. Good, we're there in 25 seconds. Beautiful, good landing stop, mm-hmm. Good. Can you speed it up just a little bit here? Let's go. 15. Yes. Either two weights or one heavy dumbbell. You'll be on your butt, feet out in front of you. You can float the feet today. We're just going to twist side to side using your waist. We're there in three, two, one. So one or two weights, just anything that makes it heavy for you. And you're just going to kind of roll back onto your butt cheeks. You can either have the feet down or feet float. Or we're just going to twist right, twist left. Try not to move the arms so much. Really move from your waist as you twist. Twist to the right, twist to the left. That's it. Look at where the weight is going. Twist right, twist left. And then try to keep your knees from moving. You know what I mean? So sometimes when you twist, the knees want to twist too. Keep that frozen. Good, lean back, keep the chest open. Exactly. Nice, 30 seconds, you're gonna drop the weight. Legs are gonna go straight, hands overhead. We're gonna go full roll ups. So really, you're gonna think about peeling your whole body up off the mat, using your abs, not momentum, and then fold over your toes. And then slowly, bone by bone, you're gonna roll all the way down. And then the hands reach back over the head, okay? We're going full roll-ups in three, With two, weight. one. Let's do it, no weights. Good, hands overhead, roll it up, chin to chest. Try not to use any momentum, guys. Yes, bone by bone, and then reach over the toes. And then bone by bone, roll it down, 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 down. Mm -hmm. Good, let the head come all the way down. Yes. Roll it up. Hollow it out. Pull the belly button up and in as you fold over towards the toes. Yep. 30 seconds. Good. Nice. In 20. Beautiful. Nice, you guys got 10. In five, we're gonna do a hollow hold in four, three, two, and one. So it's a hollow hold, your knees bent or legs straight. Take your hands directly over the head and just hold it. Hold it, chin is off the chest. Good, hold, you should feel those center abs firing up, the upper to center abs, right? Good, in five, you're gonna lower everything, lift everything just a little bit. We're there in four. Three, two, lower everything, lift everything. Not that low, yep. Just down a little, up a little. We don't wanna put stress in the low back. Down a little, up, yes, it looks. Down a little, up, that's it. Eight, good, in seven, you go back to the hollow hold. In six, five, four, three, two, 
back to the hollow hold. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. If you need to bring your hands down for a second, bring your hands down for a second. You're gonna go back to upper body and lower body, going down a little, up a little, not yet. In five, four, three, two, down a little, up a little. Nice, down a little, up a little. That's it, everybody. Eight seconds, good, seven. In six, we're gonna find a high plank. Okay, let's, you're gonna face the street. You don't need a mat. Three, two, one. High plank, face the street. Come on. Good. And from the side, her hands are gonna start underneath the shoulders. She's gonna walk her hands out as far as she possibly can. Mm -hmm. As far as she possibly can, and then she's gonna walk them right back in. You got it, Hillis? Get yep. back just a little bit so you have some uh, carpet space. Yes. Walk the hands out as far as you can. Yep. And when the shoulders creep up to the ears or they're about to, that is your stopping point. Then you walk them right back. And you can do this on the knees too. It's like a weird wheelbarrow, right? It's like a disconnected wheelbarrow. Good, that we do in class. Walk the hands out, 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 until you can't anymore, and then walk them in. Keep those hips still, yes. And this is gonna feel really insane through the center core and the lats as well. You guys have 10 seconds, and we're going to that cardio move. Then we'll go to your left leg. All we're going to do from the side, pretend like you're working with a ladder on the ground. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, pause. One, two, three, four, five, pause. We're there in three, two, stand up. Good. So you're going to be working laterally, okay? Pretend like you have those ladders that you see in field class, right? So one, two, three, four, five, high knee. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Pause. One, two, three, four, five. Get low. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Don't mind my weird outfit, my sweatshirt, and my flowy tops. I'm getting all cozy up in here. Good. Let's get lower, Hillis. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you see how she lands here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Land. Da -da 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 -da. Land. Yes. Da -da 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 -da. Land. Exactly. 25 seconds. Band goes over your knees. You're going to be on your right side body. Work on the left leg. We're just going to do that straight up and down left side line position. In 10. Same band that you have for the right leg. Do it for the left side, right? It goes right above the knees. Good. In 5. On your right side body, band over the knees. 4, 3, 2, let's go. Good. Band over those knees. Head on your hand or head on your biceps. And down. Bottom knee is bent underneath the first. She's just lifting that top leg up and down. See how she's kind of pointing her toes down to the floor a little bit? If you do that, you might feel it more in that left side butt. So experiment with that. Up, squeeze, lower. Up, squeeze, lower. Try to keep that band tight the whole time. Up, squeeze it. Lower. Good. Up, squeeze, lower. You got 30 seconds and we're going to hold it up. And we're going to make circles with that left foot the size of an eight-chord squash. Very random, I know, but that's like the perfect size for the circles. All right, get ready, get ready, get ready. We're there in 15. You hold it up. Circles the size of an acorn squash. Ready in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it up, keep it tight, and now circles the size of an acorn squash. Remember, we're just going one direction, circle, circle, yeah, circle. Keep the band tight. 20 seconds, your heels are going to connect. Both knees are going to bend kind of slightly forward in front of the body in line with your belly button. We're going classic clamshells, keeping the heels connected. We're there in eight, seven, six, good, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good, so heels stay connected. You're gonna open the top left knee, squeeze the side of your butt, close. Open, squeeze the side of your left butt, close. Open, squeeze, close. Mm -hmm. Open, squeeze, close. 45 seconds, then we're gonna disconnect the heels and you're just gonna open the top knee completely, separating the legs, okay? So it's like a bigger clamshell. Heels will not be connected. Good, good. So if you're splitting this workout up, 
you either have to, if you're doing two sections, you have to do two and three so you get the right and left leg, okay? Or you just do section one and section four, right? Or you just do the whole thing, it's just 40 minutes. In 10, the feet will separate, the knees will still stay bent, you're just gonna open the top left, left leg and close it. Ready, in five, four, three, two, disconnect the feet, open the top and close. Good, open and close. So you're kind of taking the whole leg up and down, yes. Whole leg, open, close, yes. Good, 20 seconds. And then we're gonna go back to that cardio move, like the ladder on the ground, right? You'll go one, two, three, four, five, land. One, two, three, four, five, land. Maybe we turn to face the other way. So if you're facing this direction, you face the other way for your second time through. We're there in three, two, take that band off. Let's face the restaurant, mom. At the back of your working space, clock starts in four. Think about that. One, two, three, four, five. Three, two, let's go. Get the arms involved. Pump the arms. One, two, three, four, five, land. One, two, three, four, five, land. High knees. One, two, three, four, five, land. One, two, three, four, five, land. Yep. Land. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Try to really sink into that landing, guys. Pump those arms. You can see my mom pumping her arms like crazy. Keep that. Let's get back just a little bit. Hillis, you got it. Pump it, pump it, pump it. That's it. We're going to grab one or two dumbbells if you want to combine. I need you to find a heavy situation. We're going to go wood chop. So we're working for that torso twist in 15 seconds. We're going wood chop. Down on the left diagonal, up and over to the right shoulder. One, two dumbbells or one heavy dumbbell. Whatever heavy situation you've got. We're there in three, two, one. Let's do it. So one heavy dumbbell, or you can combine. This is the action. You'll be in a squat. You'll take your weight over to your left toe, and then you're just going to rotate over and across to the right shoulder. Wood chop. Yes. So it's a big torso rotation. Mm-hmm. And you can see that you can sort of pivot on that left foot a little bit. So you can twist a little bit. Yes. And then close the hip, sit in the squat. And then twist the hip, pivot, and take that right hand over and across to the right side of the rim diagonal and left toes. Really, it's a big twist torso rotation. You got it. 35 seconds with your wood chop, everybody. Then what I'm going to do for my mom is I'm going to put two 10-pound dumbbells in her right hand, and we're going to go side bends on the right side. So this is where you really want a heavy, heavy, heavy situation. Because from the side, you're just going to go right down to a side bend. Not something you'll necessarily feel right away today, but you will feel it tomorrow. In eight, combine maybe two heavy weights, make it real heavy. Side bend in five, four, three, two, let's do it. So we'll Sorry about that. Two weights in one hand. A little bit in the knees, okay? Try not to round forward or round back. You're going straight down and then straight up. Straight down. Feel the stretch in the left waist as you turn the right. Come up. Exactly. And again, we don't want to round forward like this or go back like this. You're just going straight down. And again, you may not feel this like crazy today, but you will feel it tomorrow. So she's got 20 pounds right now in her right hand. So this is a heavy situation, okay? Straight down, good, straight up. Left arm is just there, 30 seconds. She's gonna drop one of those dumbbells. We're going wood chop on the other side. Good. Exhale as you come straight down. Inhale as you come up. Mm -hmm. So the up is just as important as the down, right? Because you're lengthening as you come up. In 10, one of the dumbbells drops or whatever situation you did for the wood chop, You'll come down into a little squat, weight or weights to the right foot, and then a big torso rotation. You take the weight of the weights over and across to the left side of the room. We're there in three, two, let's do it. Wood chop. Get to squat, twist and rotate. So you want those arms pretty straight, okay? You're really getting that twist. You can pivot that right foot a little bit. Yep, squat, rotate, bring it down. Squat, rotate, bring it down. Again, we are working core here. This is a lot of nice core movements. 40 seconds. I'm 
amazing? Then I want you to grab a chair. I forgot to tell you this at the beginning of the workout. A chair. You could also do tricep dips on the floor, okay? So if you don't have a chair nearby, you could be in sort of like a crab crawl position. You can do little tricep dips like this, all right? But the chair is going to be harder. We're gonna go right into some tricep dips in 15 seconds. Oh no, just kidding. We gotta do the side bend on the other side, right, Hill? Yep. Oopsies. In eight, both weights in the left hand. Side bend, left side. I'm getting ahead of myself. In five, four, three, two, and one. Both weights in the left hand. Little bend in the knees. Again, you're not going forward, you're not going back, you're going straight down to the side. And then up. So you want it to be fairly heavy here. Straight down and then up. Straight down. I'm going to get her chair ready and then up. Any chair is going to work for a tricep dip, right? Straight down and up. 40 seconds. You're going to drop that dumbbell, Hillis, and you're going to go tricep dips off your chair. What we'll do here for the arms is we'll go tricep dips for 45 seconds. Light weights sitting on the chair will go front raise, front raise 45 seconds. Back to tricep dips, 45, front raise, 45, and you've got a cardio move. In 15. Good, good. And the cardio move in this last segment is two minutes long because that's how we finish this workout. So you notice how we didn't separate the cardio in this section. We're putting it all together to finish, okay? In three, two, drop those weights, Hillis. Tricep dips off your chair, thumbs and fingers forward, legs straight harder, guys, knees bent easier. But if we were looking at my mom from the side, her hips and butt are very close to the chair. So scoot your hips and butt back. Yes. Even if your legs are out, your hips and butt are grazing the chair. That's what's going to protect the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back and down away from the ears. Dip it, press it. Dip it, press it. Good. 30 seconds, I would say light to medium dumbbells. You're gonna have a seat on your chair, palms down to the floor. We're gonna take it into a front raise. So maybe threes, fives, maybe eights for some of you. What would you like, Hillis? In 15? Three fives. All right. Good guys, in 10. On the chair, you'll be sitting and you're gonna go front raise those palms down. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. So have a seat on your chair. Palms down to the sides. You're just going to raise up to shoulder height, no higher. Slowly come down. Yes, your arms are straight, but there's a micro bend in your elbows, okay? Up. Yes, and then bring it down. Up. Pause for a second at the top. Bring it down. Good. 25 seconds, you drop your weights. You go back to this tricep dips one more time. Back to this one more time. And then, like, Unlike the other sections, we're going to do the cardio right back to back. So two minutes, okay, to finish off. In 10, you drop the weights, tricep dips, everybody. In five, four, three, two, drop those weights. Ready, 45 seconds, down and up. Roll the shoulders back and down away from the ears. Keep the butt close to the edge of your chair or whatever you're dipping off of. Legs straight harder, knees bent easier. Good. You can always do tricep dips on the floor like I showed you earlier. 30 seconds, you grab those weights again. We go front raise. And we got two minutes of a little cardio, and you guys are done with your 40-minute total body workout. Dip it down, press it up. Good. Dip it down, press it up. 15. In time. Yes. Last five, four, three, two, grab those weights. Mm -hmm. Palms down, little bend in the elbows, arms are mostly straight, wrists straight and strong, up to shoulder height, and then lower it down. Keep the core tight, up to shoulder height, lower it down, up and lower, up and lower. Good, so your last cardio move for two minutes. We're going to be doing a pony shuffle. But when I say drop, you drop into like a little burpee. So you'll be doing a little pony like this. So it's like a double hop on the right, double hop on the left, pony arms. And then when I say drop, you drop all the way 
to your belly into like a little uh, burpee on your belly. And then when I say lift, you go back to the pony shuffle. All right, we're there in three, two, one. Last two minutes, guys, pony shuffle. When I say drop, you lower all the way down to the floor with your belly on the floor. When I say go back to normal, you come up, you go back to the pony shuffle. Ready, three, two, pony shuffle. It's like a double hop on the right, double hop on the left. Mm -hmm. Watch the chandelier here, look. You got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't know when I'm gonna say drop. Drop. I have to do that slow because my arms. Oh yeah. Slow. So she's gonna do the drop slow because she's working with some shoulder stuff. But you guys at home do the drop and the come up as quickly as possible. So after I say drop, come up right away, okay? We're there in three, two, drop. Uh -huh. Lift. Yep. Back to pony. Drop. Uh -huh. Lift. Last 60 seconds, guys. Drop. Woo! It's like a burpee, right? You don't have to do a push-up. Lift. You're just lowering your belly all the way down, lifting all the way up. The point of the story is that you're going all the way to the floor and come all the way back up here, right? Yes. Drop. Lift. Keep it going. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Last 30 seconds, okay? Last 30 seconds of your workout. Drop. Drop. Mm. Ah, 15. You got it, Alex. Yes, last 10. 9, 8. We're going to stand and stretch today. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Amazing work. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths. Calm down a little bit. And you're just going to spread the feet out wide, guys. Toes turn out. Take the hands on the insides of your thigh. And just get a nice shoulder to knee, little stretch inner thigh situation. Good, and then other side stretch. Slow the breath down. Good, stand up. Bend the left knee slightly, kick the right leg out, heel up, leave the chest and just fold forward towards that right leg for that hamstring stretch. Get a little deeper, and then switch. Left heel out, slight bend in the right knee, fold. And you guys are all set with your 40 minute cardio strength core workout. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.